Hey there! I'm Sarah A. Chrisman, the author of The Tales of Chetsamoka and other books about the Victorian era. You can find them all on Amazon. Now, if you've been watching this channel for a while, you know that I just moved, and I promised that for a while I'll be switching off between videos about the move and the writing-related videos you all know and love and that you signed up for to begin with. <laughs> Don't want to be neglecting them. And today it's a writing video's turn. So, today I'm going to talk to you about books as time machines. I've always loved images that evoke the permeability of books, that show an unsuspecting reader being pulled into the pages of a story, or a figure drawn out of a book by the reader's imagination, defying time and space. Every lover of books knows that the written word has this power. A book is a doorway we can step through and arrive in the author's world, redolent with all the smells, sights, and feelings of their time and place. A book is the cheapest time machine you'll ever buy and the easiest to use. All you have to do is open the cover and you're off for a romp through the ages. Along the way you'll make new friends and learn about the culture of their time. This helps you understand your own culture better so that you can see where we came from and where we're going. If you read enough and read widely enough, you'll quickly realize that everything people go through today is something humanity has been through many times before. The best way to learn is by experience, and someone else's experience is generally the cheaper sort. Reading about how other people have handled a situation makes you better equipped to deal with it yourself when it comes up. Besides making you better equipped to deal with the challenges of life, books can to amazing experiences you might otherwise never get to try. Through the pages of books you can trek along with intrepid explorers through untamed forests one hour, then embark on a high seas adventure the next. You can even go trekking through the blazing deserts and then just pop off to a different adventure altogether. Besides taking you to other eras, books can take you to other times in your own life as well. When you read books written from the perspective of characters who are younger than you are now, the stories bring up memories of how you felt and thought about the world at that age. Reading books from the perspective of older characters gives you an idea of what's to come and how people change over time. Books allow us to see the world from more perspectives than we could ever manage on our own. A human being is a finite creature. We only have one set of eyes to see with and one pair of feet to walk with. Through the blessed magic of books, though, you can see the world through countless different eyes and walk in the footsteps of characters far different from yourself. Books are a wonderful way to add breadth to your perspective and help you understand different points of view past and present. Books literally carry voices from the past into the present and invite us into conversations with the greatest minds of the ages. Through the simple medium of paper and ink, you can have a conversation with Socrates, revel in the wit of Voltaire, or invite Lucy Maud Montgomery to tea with you. A book is a conversation with its author that goes on for days. Think about it this way. Suppose you wrote a fan letter to a celebrity of your choice. If, and it's a big if, they manage to find time to write back to you, you'll probably get at most one page that might take you five minutes to read and that can convey very, very little of the true person you want to connect with and practically nothing of how they see the world. But when you pick up a book, the great minds of all time open their hearts and souls to you and talk to you for hours about the things that mean the most to them. How amazing is that? Besides transporting us in time and bringing individuals from all the ages of the world to meet us, books manipulate the fabric of time itself. There is a magic in books that can seize a brief moment and spin it out indefinitely, or that can skip over life's more tedious portions and bring us straight to the good bits. Wherever or whenever your destination might be, a book can take you there. 
You can stay as long as you like, and you'll have the best of company along the way. So I hope you'll all go out and pick up a quality time machine to add to your collection. <laughs> Thank you for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a nice thumbs up, and remember to tell your friends about my books. Happy reading! Thank you.